Hi, I'm here at London Film and Comic Con 2012 with the actress Bay Ling. Hello, Bay. Hey, so, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How, how are you, the, everyone? <laughs> how's the convention going for you so far? Good, I've seen, I haven't seen so many people in the one room for a long time. Yeah. So it's exciting, especially in London. And I was walking around, it's like amazing. And it's a great event. And for me to meet a lot of my fans and make new friends, it's just uh, fun. Have you had a chance to explore much of London so far? On your visit? Huh? Have you had a chance to see much of the sea? No, I, I haven't, because it was raining and then just took us here, we're working all day. But I've been in London, I shot the Sky Captain World of Tomorrow. I'm moving here, so I've been here for a few months. Okay. And I've been here promoting my another movie called Dumplings. So I've been here a few times. Um, speaking of Dumplings, I actually am a big, quite a big fan of this film. Um, it's been around for quite many years, but uh, I'm quite fascinated by a lot of the, um, the the story. I was just wondering what attracted you to the role of... Well, actually, the, um, the director, the producer, Peter Chen, she, he always wanted to work with me. And we're hanging out in LA, he took me out. Finally, one day, I was in Monterey Park, have Chinese food. He called me, he said, Bailin, I have a movie, you have to come to Hong Kong. I said, what kind of movie? It's a horror movie. I said, wow, I never think I'll do a horror movie, but I didn't know what kind it was. And uh, when I got, the, got there, and I was looked very skinny, very tan, it doesn't, doesn't look like the character in the film at all. Then I asked them, I said, what do you want me to do? They don't know, because the, the character is very hard to play. Now you know and what she looked like, but before, just on the script. Because there's a husband and his wife, you know how to play, because we sing in real life. But my character is almost like spirit. So like I made her like very uh, unique, sexy, and provocative, and mis mystical. So I had great fun. I was like difficult, difficult. But I had um, tremendous fun making her because she's totally, totally different from me, which I didn't know where I get that spirit. So I, I think that was the gift I have as an actress. I like to play more roles like that. And because how hard and how sincere, how much I worked, Basically, it's like a love relationship, or seducing the character, seducing me, yeah. test me, and see how much I love her. So basically, I give everything to her. So when uh, acting awards, Academy Awards in Asia, and I love have more roles like that because I, I think roles actually is not challenging for me enough. It's quite, a, sorry, it's quite a lot in the film about. Um, uh, the fact that there's these two versions of the film, one of them is in the short. Yeah, yeah, you have version. to watch the long version. I've watched both of them actually, oh. and I was like thinking about it because uh, the longer version omitted the, the pregnancy storyline with Mrs. Lee, where she became pregnant um, towards the end. Um, yeah. And uh, I was just wondering what your thoughts on why they removed that uh, subplot about the fact that she was pregnant in the longer version. Why that? Was because they want to do it as uh, she basically learned from me, influenced by it. You know, they want to make that, uh, because it's a horror movie, kind of uh, threatening to the audience's mind. Maybe she'll do something, something scary. Yeah. But it's not going to go there, but just like quit, quit, quit. Uh, create uh, those um, surprise of psychological can be twisted. Those characters, when you're so doing so much, when you have so much fear, that she's so afraid of losing her youth, you know, going crazy and losing her husband, and everything. Yeah. And, uh, uh, one of the things I know you spoke about in a previous interview was the uh, the, the set was very hot. Oh my and God! Was, um, they gave me this fake chain. I was itching everywhere. I was jet lagged. It was so hot. The, the meat was stinking. I was just feeling like really feel like I'm gonna faint it. And there's no air conditioning. Like everybody's there and it's just unbearable. So I was looking out the window. I don't know if I told. I said like everything like uh, Dali's painting like muted. I feel like if I fly out, I might survive. It's just so hard. It's really hard. I, I feel like uh, every day I'm like. Um, just one moment at a time, I said, I'll, I'll make it, I'll make it. And so difficult. But that's how it tests your strings, make you humble in that way, in this uh, independent film in Hong Kong. Uh, much, not like Hollywood, big budget, comfortable. There's no trailer. We have no trailer. We're just like this squad there, eating everybody, falling asleep there. It's so hard. It must be really difficult to work on. But I, uh, it's rewarding. I think it's the harder the challenge you are, and the better result are. Because the challenge to the potential, like I did a French movie, Luc Besson's Taxi to yeah. Taxi 3, I did not even understand Merci. I learned the language. Luc Besson was telling me, don't fake it, you have to learn. We don't understand, you can be, you have to say it. I worked so hard, and I did it.
So now I can do any language film, I have no fear. If you give me like two or three weeks, I'll learn the whole script. You just have to dedicate to it, then I know the potential of human being is tremendous. Yellow Hill. Yellow Hill, Yellow sorry. Hill. So um, a Western. Yeah, um, um, do you play, are you acting in that or is it just uh, you're producing? Huh? Are you acting in that? Or? Yeah, I'm the star in the movie and I play the character Stranger. Basically, it's a story, it's an action film, it's a thriller action, very modern. I play a stranger, come back. Basically, it's about the time and the gold rush and 18th century. All this uh, real world in the US, they brought a lot of immigrants from a lot of people from Asia, from China. Yeah. So they never story never told about that period of time. So my, my character was abused by the Westerns there, and her family is all killed. So basically she left and come back, become the stranger, and train all the Kung Fu gun fight to kill all the men, and then and, and, and suffered or killed her family or all the Chinese. Yeah. It's brutally fun, crazy movie. And also, I just um, just got a two offer, like three days. I landed in the London. The next day, I got an offer. So I'm going to Cambodia. I got a movie in New York on the 16th for for three days. Then I go to Cambodia, shoot another film. So I have two films I'm shooting right now. So incredibly busy. I'm so excited. Yeah. I've never been to Cambodia, and the film is kind of uh, fascinating. Is there a story that you could tell us about for the film? Uh, so it's it? kind of like a fantasy story. It's about. Uh, those people, like uh, gi giant people and tree people, different kind of people, how they survive, how they fight. Basically, it's my character being taken away by the evil rock men, taking away, and flying away. They're gonna kill me, execute me, to to dedicate to the full moon festival. My whole family is doing a journey to save me. It's a very fantasy movie. It's very like franchise commercial commercial movie. I'm very excited. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. I really do yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, we just closed the deal actually today. That's brilliant. Then I have another two movies. Oh. One's called The Kill Point. One is called Speak Dragon. I both uh, produce and star in it. So those films are, are uh, Speak Dragon still in the process. Kill Bill, just Kill Point, just finished. I play this gangster. Like a gangster who uh, hearing drugs and guns with mafia world. And it used to be a male role and changing to me female role. So I'm dealing with all the drug gangster. It's she's really ass kicking cool role. Looks so fantastic. If you if you're a fan follow me at Real Bailing on Twitter or officialbailing.com or Facebook you'll find out I post it every day what I'm doing. It's kind of fantastic. Fantastic. We'll have to definitely do that. Um, it's been great talking to you. Thank you and also I want to tell you like okay. I, I'm writing songs. My new song is called Tuesday night eight PM I did the music video. I write songs, five hours, lyrics, music, recorded all on my own. And it's on uh, iTunes and YouTube. So you can go to uh, officialbiling.com or lead you there. The song is like, uh, I'm not a musician. I never learned, but I just write it. I just want to encourage all of you out there, your potential. Just do it. Don't yeah. be afraid. So, so Yeah, I remember you singing Dumplings as well, because I quite yeah. enjoyed listening to your voice there. It's very beautiful. So I yeah, watch Dumplings. It's yeah. scary, but fun. Yeah. Listen, thanks very much. It was lovely to talk to you.